Hi, uh, welcome back to my channel. Again, long time no speak. I just can't get the time available to film videos. But I have a new video for you today, and it is a monthly favourite. So, same as usual, three months because I don't have enough in a month. So this is my favourites from July, August and September of this year. This video is a little bit later than planned as well, because obviously, because it's from... Like cut off was the end of September, I wanted to get up a bit earlier but you know life gets in the way and I haven't been able to get up but it is up now so I hope you enjoy it anyway and yeah again as usual my favourites it's just a whole random jumble of things it's not like specific and I just basically just splurge out whatever's been going on in my brain for the past three months and things that have been great so I'm gonna start off with a couple of beauty bits as I went on my sort of like beachy holiday where I'd get a bit of a tan back in April I think it's April when I went to Mexico over the summer I haven't really had much tanning time so I didn't want to be pale the whole time and I decided I needed to try a new fake tan and I decided to go for the Bondi Sands Ultra Dark and I'd never tried it before but I tried it. I borrowed my friend Zoe's and tried a bit of hers before buying my own just in case I didn't like it but I love it. This is so good. I normally wear the Zen Tan Absolute Luxe Dark whatever it's called and that is sort of like 30 quid a bottle. This is only 18 so it's a lot cheaper and it goes on like because it's a foam is it foam? Yes, a foam. So it goes on and it like sinks in straight away. Whereas with my Zentan, it feels a bit tacky for a bit longer. Um, but yeah, I really, really like this. I really like the colour it gives. And I'm not tanned right now and it's making me really sad. And it's making me really, really badly want to put this back on right now because I'm talking about it. Because it makes me... F like having a tan just makes me feel so much better. And it sounds really shallow, but that is true. I feel so much better with a tan. And yeah, I freaking love this stuff. So yeah, that's my new favourite tan. I will 100% be using this again before the end of the year because I need to be tanned again. I just want to be tanned all the time. But to go with that, I also bought the self tan eraser because I'd seen this all over Instagram and I thought I'd give it a whirl. And I do really like this as well. It means that your tan comes off a lot less like trickily. A lot less, diff more difficult, less difficult, more still, I don't know what the word is. <laughs> Comes off easier because you just put it on, rub it in, and then leave it for like five minutes. And then I use a flannel and I just rub it all off. And it's disgusting what the flannel looks like afterwards, but it's a quick and easy way to get your tan off without scrubbing your skin to death. So these two have been my absolute favourites for getting a bit of a glow this summer. I just love them. I just need to be tanned right now. Also on the topic of tanning, I have mentioned this before in my favourites, but I still use this to death over the past couple of months, and it is my Clarins Instant Smooth Self Tanning for my face. I love this stuff. It's so good. I always love this stuff. Not much more to be said other than buy this if you like to be tanned. And like a subtle glow on your face is what I would call it. But it's just really, really good. And the final beauty product that I have is the L'Oreal Infallible Fixing Mist Makeup Finishing Spray. So I started using this a lot when I was in Barcelona in July and it's just so good. I'd go around, obviously because it's like really humid and you get all sticky and horrible in the sun. I used it every day to set my makeup and honestly, whereas I would normally have like a really shiny T-zone by the end of the day, no shine whatsoever. It was so good. I'm just massively, I think it was only, I'm well, massively impressed. Finish my sentence. I think it was only like fiver or something really cheap. It was under £10, 100%. And oh, it's just so good. And it doesn't make my skin feel like horrible or like closed in or like it's clogging my face up or anything like that. It just means I don't end up with like the oiliest T-zone in the world at the end of a hot like humid day and so that's been a lifesaver in the hot, well not hot, you know, British weather like mildly, mildly slightly warm days. So yeah, I massively love this. The next thing I wanted to talk to you about is fashion and clothing bits but as I've gone to film this video I went to get the stuff that I wanted to include and I realised because we don't have a massive house and I, don't, I can't fit everything in. I keep like my summer stuff 
at my family house in the winter and the winter stuff at my family house in the summer so that I like switch over and obviously because it is now the middle of October I've taken all my sandals and my summery dresses back home to wait, make way for like boots and warm jumpers so annoyingly I don't have quite a few things that I want to talk about but I will include pictures of any of the stuff that I talk about that I don't have because I want to show you what I'm talking about um, but yeah that's what the problem is but I'm going to start off with the Topshop slip dress these Topshop slip dresses I saw them all over Instagram or Pinterest I can't remember which exact one but I saw them on there and I think did I see the blue one first? I think I saw the blue one first and bought the blue and then once I had that and wore that I loved it and I saw that there was a pink one and I was like right I'm getting the pink one as well because this dress is just the best it's just the easiest like throw on and go like slip cottony dress so loose and flowy so it's perfect I wore it in Barcelona and then I wore them like the rest of the time in the summer and then I think I wore the I wore them both again when I went to Austria and Germany so they were the perfect dresses for hot weather because they don't stick to you and they like flow in the breeze and just make you feel cool so yeah I love them they're just easy button down the front and then tie I'm trying to think of it because I don't have it here with me because I'm inserting pictures and yeah and then tie up at the shoulder and I think they were £29 each which I thought was not too bad yeah, and I love them, they're probably my favourite piece of the summer. Next up is that Zara bag. So the Zara bag that everybody had and I didn't have to begin with. I don't know if I mentioned it before, I don't know if I have, but I wore this bag to death over the summer. Like every time I went out I was like, take that bag because I loved it. So if I haven't mentioned it already, I basically saw this bag all over everyone's Instagram and blogs and I kept thinking oh I really want that bag but everyone was saying it was sold out everywhere, it's sold out everywhere and then I was on Twitter one day and I was sitting in the doctors <laughs> and I was scrolling through Twitter and someone had tweeted saying the bag is back in stock and I clicked on it and I was like oh my god it's in stock and it's really crappy signal in my doctor's surgery and I was trying to order it on my phone and getting really really stressed because it kept timing out and saying like took too long to page to load and it wouldn't add to my bag and I was like if this bag goes out of damn stock while I'm sitting in the doctor's I'm going to lose my shit so I was like rushing to try and like try and get it to go through it wouldn't go through it ended up I had to go into my appointment and then come out and like wait and when I went to the pharmacy I was trying to do it and there it wasn't working in the pharmacy and I was getting really really stressed this is how much this bag meant to me and then it wouldn't work in there so I had to wait till I got out to the car park and I sat in the car park and ordered this on my phone because I needed this bag in my life it is just the perfect summer bag and I love it so much and I'm so glad I was able to make it mine because it's just the best summer bag ever and then the final item that I don't have with me is a pair of sandals from Tesco so they're only £10 and I bought them in brown and black and I had the I think I just had the brown for Mexico so I did buy them along quite a while ago and then I bought the black later on but I just wore especially the tan well brown pair I wore them solidly throughout the summer like at home when I went away just everywhere they're just the perfect sandals just really really simple tie around the ankle perfect sandals and probably no good for my feet because they've got no support or anything but they just go with everything and I loved them so yeah great sandals well done Tesco now I have items I can actually show you so the first is this ASOS denim jacket so I think it's called like the boyfriend fit denim jacket or something like that and I actually bought this last like November or something but never really wore it but then over the past couple of months I've worn it so much because it's really like oversized baggy sort of fit and that's been perfect if I because you know English weather's like it's the summer or it's September and it'll be so cold one day and then so warm the next day so this is perfect for throwing on over if I just had like a little like a summery dress on I just needed a jacket in the evenings or I wore it with like a hoodie underneath when I went to Austria and it was just the perfect jacket and it's just like it's not like crunchy denim if you know what I mean it's a like really like soft scrunch it up denim and it's just the perfect fit the perfect wash the perfect jacket um, I'm pretty sure they'll probably still have the same or really really similar online 
if it like I'm sure they will because it's just a staple so if I can find it or the similar one I'll link it in the description box because I really want to get it in like the navy wash maybe blue wash like dark wash whatever it's called stone wash I don't know whatever the blue wash is but I really want to get that because this is the perfect fit jacket Another thing I have that I can show you, but I also include a picture because it has been on my blog, and it is this khaki Matalan trench coat, and it's just, what is it? I'd say it's a trench coat, maybe like a duster coat, but it's sort of like a really, really loose, lightweight fit. I don't know what the material is. What is it? Polyester. So it's really just one of those like lightweight polyesters, really, really thin, and just, it feels kind of like, sheeny like silky-ish if you get what I mean and it's just got little like I don't know what these are called those things around the cuffs and then just a tie waist belt and on the shoulders as well it's got those little bits and <laughs> I need to learn that descriptions of stuff a bit better but yeah I've loved this as well another thing I bought the end of last summer season sort of end of the year last year and didn't actually get to wear it until this year when it got a bit warmer and it's the perfect just the roll on outfit again when it's slightly chillier in the UK it says it's summer but it's not so I'd throw on this and it just just kind of like a chic easy jacket but not like a full on trench coat that's what I loved about it and I love this shade of colour I'm just, yeah, I'm all about the green coats. If I could just have a wardrobe full of green coats, well, no, I'd want some other colours, actually, that's a lie. But I like green coats a lot. So, yeah, great coat. Then the final fashion item to show you are these shoes. Now, these are from ASOS, and I bought these to go to a friend's wedding, and they're just really, like, simple, rosy, goldy, coppery stilettos with an ankle strap and I think these were £25 so I thought they were a really reasonable price and they'll just go with so many outfits because they're such a simple but like metallic like nice colour and I don't really like I'm not a massive fan of silver shoes on me I just I don't know I just got a thing about silver strappy shoes I just don't really like them on me so I don't like as a metallic I much prefer this colour and more like goldy colours but I thought these would be perfect for this wedding and for so many other things it was dust on them sorry um, but yeah I absolutely love these they're really comfortable I wasn't thinking oh my god I can't walk anymore and yeah I just love them really I love everything about them next I have a couple of things activities life events that were my favourite things. So first of all was Barcelona at the end of July. I do, I have, I've vlogged, I've vlogged the whole trip but I just haven't had time to make a video and I couldn't decide whether I wanted to do just like an overall like, where I've done in the past like moments videos because I've made previous Barcelona vlogs I don't know whether to make a moments video it's just like snippets or to make vlogs because I don't think it could be one vlog, I don't think I'd cut it down that much it'd have to maybe be two vlogs but I just haven't, got the, haven't had the time yet to sit down and edit it all so if you do want to see that then let me know and I'll make it a priority to do that maybe I should make it a priority anyway but yeah anyway I went to Barcelona for four days at the end of July it was like the 29th, 28th of July or something that we went and it was so lovely, it was so hot, so 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 hot and muggy but it was just me and Luke and yeah it was really really nice and I just, yeah, just lovely, I don't really know how else to describe it but it was a really fun couple of days away and yeah, can't really say much else about it so I probably should make those vlogs so then the second life event trip thing that I have to tell you about is at the start of September, so the 2nd of September, one of my best and oldest friends in the whole world got married in Austria, just like on the outskirts of Zelmsee. So I don't know if you know where that is, but that's where it is. And yeah, we've been friends since like the first day of school or like the start of school. So that is a long time. How many years is that? How old am I? 22 years, that's 22 years we've been friends and yeah she got married in Austria so me and Luke decided to drive down there and make a bit of a road trip and again I vlogged the whole thing so I need to get my butt into gear and make those videos as well because 
it was just an awesome trip. We started in, obviously we got the boat over and drove down through Germany to Austria, so we stopped in Cologne, then we went down to, what's it called? Schwangau, Schwang, something like that, I don't know how to say any of it. And then we drove over to Oberammergau, I don't know if that's right. And then we drove to ZMZ and then on our way back we stopped at Karlsruhe and then went home. So yeah, we, sp we spent like almost a week there and obviously before that we had Bex Hendu in the start of August, first week of August. and. We went to go ape and we had afternoon tea and a sleepover and it was just really, really nice and it felt like we were like teenagers again having a sleepover, it was really fun and yeah, and like I decorated the house and yeah, that was lovely and then the wedding, oh my god, I'm very like emotional. I went to, when we first went to Beck's dress, like when she chose her dress, I cried then and then we had to, not had to, we said we would do a speech and I wrote like a little emotional bit at the end, I cried when I wrote that and then me and the other bridesmaid gave that speech and I started like crying in doing the speech, I was crying in the ceremony, I was just very very emotional because Beck's like one of my oldest and best friends, it was just just, I feel emotional doing that now. I'm just an emotional person, okay, guys. It just, it was just a lovely day, and I am actually genuinely like well enough. But yeah, it was lovely, and I'm so grateful that she let me be a part of it. And obviously, Luke was there with me, so that was lovely. And yeah, it was just a lovely day. So I'll include a picture because it's on my Instagram, but I'll include a picture of us on the day and like my bridesmaid's dress and stuff. And oh yeah, I do have my bridesmaid get ready with me video. So if you haven't already watched that, I've probably told you some of this story before in that video. But um, yeah, I've got that. So I'll link that somewhere as well in case you want to do like see my bridesmaid get ready with me video. Um, but yes, so I was running around like a crazy person on the day because I'm like a, I'm a get shit doneer. Um, type person when it comes to stuff like that. So I was like running around, like, ordering people around, like, telling them to do stuff. Um, so yeah, I was a bit like bridesmaid Zilla, like do this, do that, get me this, where's this? Um, so that was quite fun. And then yeah, it was just a beautiful day. And yeah, then she went on a honeymoon to Croatia. And yeah, I don't really know what else to tell you. So again, I'll probably need to get that vlog sorted of that trip. I didn't actually vlog any of the wedding because obviously it was all about Beck and Pete. Uh, yeah, she, the guy she married was called Pete. <laughs> Shout out to Pete if he's watching. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't mentioned you yet. It's all about Beck. <laughs> um, but yeah, the wedding, they had like a lovely day, but obviously I didn't vlog any of it because I was busy with my bridesmaid duties and just enjoying the day and having fun with my friends. So, I have any footage of any of the day. Um, but yeah, it was just great. And yeah, just wish them very long and happy marriage. Still need to give you a wedding card if you're watching this because I'm useless. So moving on swiftly. Now I have a bit of a random thing that I want to mention and that is Lidl. Over the past couple of months we've started going to Lidl regularly and before I kind of always thought of Lidl as a bit you only get shit stuff in there. But we've been going to Lidl every week recently and I am like obsessed with Lidl at the moment because they make a damn good croissant, fresh from the bakery. Like, I'm a big fan of Sunday morning getting a croissant. And also, so this is really naughty, but every week me and Luke go and we get a croissant, unless we're doing something like we, that we can't go. But we'll go and get a croissant from the bakery and then also probably a donut. And these donuts are awesome. So if you haven't had anything from Lidl before, you need to get yourself a croissant and also a donut. So the ones I get are like the ring, ring donuts and they're, they've got like white icing stuff with little crunchy yellow bits on it but then inside they've got lemon curd in a ring donut which I didn't even know was possible so yeah you need to get yourself some of those and then also they have stuff that you don't get in other supermarkets like we got McVitie's digestives but like triple chocolate so that is a chocolate biscuit chocolate on top and chocolate chips inside like where else does that exist i've never seen that in my life before unless i went to the wrong tesco's or something where do you get that so yeah shout out to little for amazing pastries and donuts and unusual things like 
triple chocolate digestives that are just awesome. So, a bit of a random one, but obsessed with Lidl. As always, I have to include some things I've been watching on Netflix because I'm obsessed with Netflix. So, this is the category, if you could call it that, that I'm going to finish on. So, what TV I've been watching. So, first of all, a bit of a random thing, but I was off sick work for a couple of days in September and I didn't know what to watch. I wanted something that was just really easy. So, I watched this thing called Cheer Squad on Netflix. Became a bit obsessed with this cheerleading squad and like were they going to make it to nationals and all of this. So if you enjoy stuff like Bring It On, but real life Bring It On, then watch Cheer Squad on Netflix. It's about a Canadian cheer squad. I th where are they near? I think they're Ontario or Toronto. Somewhere like on the east east side, I have to do never each shredded wheat to know which way is the right way around. But yeah, on the east side and of Canada. And yeah, it's just a really good little entertaining show. So that's one for you. Also on Netflix, I watched the Jack Whitehall Travels with My Father thing, which was hilarious. It's basically, he goes on like a gap year with his dad for five weeks around Asia and it's just hilarious. I do think it's a bit put on, like a, his dad must know that he's like taking the piss sometimes but it's really really funny so I'd recommend that. I've also really massively got back into Suits recently and when I moved out of my family home like last year we had a couple of episodes of Suits saved on our TiVo and we never ended up catching up on that so we missed the end of not the season that's currently showing the season before that so we watched the rest of that and then now I think we've watched the first episode of the most recent series so I'm getting back into Suits and I love it I'm just obsessed with Harvey and Mike and Donna, oh, just love it. it, just makes me want to have so much more sass and like, just, I don't know, just amazing comebacks and like, tell people to like, put them in their place and shit like that. Just makes me feel like, all sassy, like, yeah! But I'm not like that, so, probably need to work on that or just carry on as I am and carry on watching Suits and living vicariously through them. And the final TV show on Netflix that I've watched is The Mist. So my friend Zoe at work, she kept saying, you need to watch The Mist, you need to watch The Mist. And again, I binge watched that and it's the same story as the film The Mist and that really screwed me up. Cried like a baby in the cinema over that. It's just so destroyed by the ending. So I was a bit unsure about watching The Mist, but I thought, Zoe keeps saying it's good. I'll give it a go and I'm unsure how I feel about it because I'm unsure about like the acting in it but I liked the concept and yeah I quite liked it so try the mist if you like sci-fi and stuff like that. Finally, this has been the longest video ever, apologies for that but I do like to chatter on. Finally the I've watched three documentaries on Netflix. So the first one is Audrey and Daisy so I've read about this so many places about you need to watch this documentary. And it's basically the story of two girls who were sexually assaulted or like raped and it was broadcast around school and like families and it basically just went all over the like local news and everyone found out basically and they were sort of like, I don't know if the word slut shamed, that kind of thing and both of them tried to commit suicide because of it and like, I, I don't know how much I want to reveal, <laughs> like, yeah, both of them tried to commit suicide because of it and it's just basically about their stories of what happened and, like, the repercussions and just about this whole, like, awful thing, like, just that happened because they were both underage and it's just, all, they're awful stories but it's just a very, like, interesting story and I think it's just a really important thing to, like, tell these stories and know that these things are going on. Um, so yeah, that's Audrey and Daisy. Another kind of, well, not kind of, it is serious. Another serious documentary that I watched was Blackfish. So again, a bit behind the times. I've only just watched Blackfish, but I kept putting it off because I was sort of like, oh, I don't know if I want to watch it because I went to SeaWorld and it might make me feel awful about my life. Um, so I watched Blackfish and yeah, fucked up. So fucked up. Um, it's just horrible and yeah it's basically if you don't know what blackfish is it's basically a, mainly about sea world and the killer whales and how they're captured how they're treated what's like what incidents have happened because of the way they're treated and it's just yeah 
messed up. So if you're interested in that, I would definitely recommend it because, again, I think it's important that people know these stories and know what's going on in the world. And then finally, a slightly lighter documentary about fashion and that was the first Monday in May again on Netflix and it is about the Met Gala that they hold every year at the Metropolitan Museum of Art in New York and it's like the ultimate dream of life to go to the Met Gala and yeah it's basically about how they put on the Met Gala every year so it basically shows Anna Wintour going around organising it all about basically everything that goes into sorting out Met Gala every year and it's just if you love fashion and the Met Gala like me then it's super super interesting and I would definitely recommend that you watch that too. Those are all of my monthly favourites for the past three months. I hope you have enjoyed this video and checking out what's been going on in my brain and in my life for the past three months because I haven't been on YouTube to tell you about it. Um, but yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Apologies again, it's been so long. I'm probably like a broken record this year because I've just been so shit with my videos. But I just need, I, I need to find time. I need to find time because I really like making my videos, but I just need to find the time. So yeah, that aside, I hope you have enjoyed knowing what's going on in my brain and my life and what have been my favourite things and maybe seen a few recommendations of things that you want to try or watch or do or, you know, whatever. And yeah, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up. That would be fantastic. If you are not really subscribed, hit that subscribe button and that would be perfect. And if you are already subscribed, then thank you so much for sticking around and still watching my videos because I seriously massively appreciate if you're subscribed and you still watch my videos as sporadic as they are because it's such a big like wonderful thing for me so thank you and hopefully I'll see you in my next video